Hi guys, Wandersun here. In the previous video I taught you how to create a login window using Qt Quick, PySide 6, Python and also JavaScript to log in. In this video I will teach you how to create the backend using Python. If you haven't seen the previous video I recommend watching it before starting this tutorial. If you are not yet subscribed to the channel please subscribe and leave your like, it helps a lot to continue producing more content here on the channel. As we are using version 6 of PySide, we can set Qt Quick for version 6 and Qt Quick controls for version 6 in our two previously created windows. The first step will be to create a connection between Qt Quick and Python. We can comment on this code that we created earlier, because we will create it using Python. We will replace the internal object with the connection target in this case the backend. With our connection created in the QML file, let's create it now inside our Python file. We need to create a new class and we also create the context for it. In the set context property object, set the context with the name backend and the main object that contains the main window class that we will now create. For this tutorial we need to import three new classes, QObject, Slot and Signal. Let's create our main windows class and pass the queue object as a parameter. I will create two static variables that contain the username and password. In the real world you can get this data from a database. There are several tutorials on the internet teaching how to connect Python to the database, my goal here on the channel is to focus on graphical interface. We will create a slot that will contain two parameters of type string, which will be username and password. Let's create a function called check login as it is on our homepage that will receive the parameter username and password. Before we continue we need to create our signals. These signals will be responsible for sending the data to the user interface. I will create the signal user that will return the user name to the interface and the signal pass, both of type string. Finally, the signal login which will be of the boolean type. If the login is correct it will send a value of the true type to the user interface and make the login. Create a sentence to check if the username and password match the name of the static variables we created earlier. If the value is correct it will send a signal of the true type to our user interface. Otherwise it will emit a false signal. In our main QML file we will create a JavaScript function that should contain the same name as our signal login starting with the letter O and in lower case.
To speed up this tutorial we will use the function parameters that we created previously using JavaScript and adapt to Python. Copy and paste the function as shown in the video and also change the parameters as shown. I will create two prints to send a message if the login is successful or not in the main PI file. See that the messages are appearing correctly at the output. And the login is also working correctly. This done we will send the user signal and log in to our user interfaces with a personalized message as shown in the video. We will create two properties of type string that will contain the signal user and password that will be sent from the Python backend. We will create two more functions just as we did in the signal login function that will receive the username and password coming from the backend. I will create two texts in our app window that will receive the data that will be sent from the main window with the username and password. We learned how to create these texts in the previous video. If you have difficulties just pause the video and write the scripts as shown. Now we need to create two properties of type string that will contain the username and password and that will be displayed in these texts that we just created. We will use the win object to pass the values to our app window. This win object gives access to objects within the app window. Save all QML files and run application to see if everything is working correctly. See that it is working correctly, but it is showing an alert that we will fix now. To fix this problem it is very simple, just copy the context of our application before loading the file main.qml. This context must be applied before loading the window.
Now running our application we see that everything is working correctly. We finished here another tutorial. If you are not yet subscribed to the channel please subscribe and leave your like. Thanks to all Patreon supporters. See you in the next video.